sounds like when I'm done having sex. A cowbell? <laughs> she gets shit about 10 seconds too late. <laughs> like a phone number. Um, <laughs> who wants to go skydiving? Yeah. yeah. I've been thinking about it. I went online to the, the Google and uh, looked up skydiving. And there was an ad there for, uh, for extreme skydiving. Really? How does that shit get any more extreme than jumping out of a plane? But it got me thinking. And you, you can take the word extreme and put it in front of anything and it sounds badass, man. Like, uh, how about extreme on-roading? Huh? Basically, you just drive at a moderate rate of speed for a long distance in average weather conditions. But if you want to throw a curveball in there, get a really, really drunk passenger that will fuck with your knob when you're... Not that knob, dumbass. I'm not even talk anymore about that because she's on the knob thing. Or how about, uh, how about extreme diaper changing? Fucking right. I'll come over to your house, I'll feed your child some sugar and chocolate, and then time you to see how long it takes to change that diaper. <laughs> that could get messy. I don't know. But, uh... Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, I, uh, I, I don't like skydiving, and I've never been, and I never will, so... But I did have to fly last week, uh, and my favorite part about flying is that when you get on the plane, Right there, and then, like, right when you get into the coach area, it, it's called Snob Central or, or First Class or whatever. And but the great thing is, you ever try to talk to those fuckers when you're walking through there? You're like, hey, let's see, you got some leg room. And I did it. And one guy goes, <laughs> awesome. Like, the extra $40 fucking dollars you spent turned your Timex into a Rolex. Congratulations, asshole. <laughs> and then you get into uh, Freak Show, which is coach. And uh, right before you take off, uh, the uh, the flight attendant slams that curtain shut between you and first class like there's some really awesome party up there and you're not invited. But you're looking and they got two little gaps because they can't get a fucking curtain to fit the thing and you're like, man, I, I don't see any movement. Something's got to be going on up there though. It kind of reminded me of watching uh, Stephen Hawking give a lecture. Oh. Yeah, right. Uh, is that okay? Uh, hey, uh, who's ready for Iowa football? Yeah. Yeah, my favorite part is watching the uh, new freshman tailgate for their first time. <laughs> That's a fucking sight. Because they're the only ones left in the parking lot when everybody's at the game. Where, where did everybody go, man? So I go, like, really? And the girls are like, oh my god, I don't even know where I am. Who is this guy? And he's like, I can take care of you, girl. <laughs> she comes in, the girls are walking up to everybody. Do you know John? You know, John? I'm like, yeah, John's over that way. Thank you so much. Guys, John's this way. Right? Then, uh, then they start walking, and she's like, oh, beer bomb! Yeah. The guys are like, I will carry you. Where's your boots? Or, Let's do this. You know? But that's the same girl that's talking about how awesome her boyfriend is while she's at the tailgate. I got the best boyfriend. He's in Iraq. Guys are pigs. He's the only good guy in the world. <laughs> then you go to the club that night, and that's the same girl grinding on her crotch. <laughs> and you look, you're like, no shit. And I was in Iraq, so I kind of feel like, I, I feel for those dudes over there. And uh, the only thing I could think of was I gotta mark this girl somehow. So the other guys know, like, this chick's crazy. So I reached into my pocket and all I had was a mayonnaise packet. So I tore it open and <laughs> right on her back. Well, not only does it smart her, but it goes great with french fries. And uh, I like french fries too. Um, okay, 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 okay. Don't get me wrong, I love mayonnaise, but I had to use it. I mean, come on, whatever. I dropped a bomb on that one <laughs> over Baghdad. <laughs> right? Ah, uh, 
Infomercials. Who likes those? Don't fucking kid yourself. You go home to the bar, you're like infomercial city. This is awesome. It was 2 a.m. last night, and I'm flipping through the stations, and I'm like, Ray-Ban. Yeah. So I'm watching it, and uh, they're throwing shit as bonuses to you, but the shit's vital to the use of the product. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, you buy these Ray-Bans today, we'll send you free lenses. <laughs> the lenses don't come with the fucking... What? <laughs> but not only that, then they keep going, and they'll throw something at you that has nothing to do with the product, like, and if you buy now, we'll send you a bucket of chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I just have the chicken? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that. Um, but uh, speaking of chicken, remember elementary school? <laughs> that shit's getting ridiculous. Uh, and by ridiculous, I mean when I was in elementary school, not even that fucking old. It was you, you get your backpack and you go to school, unzip, pencil, blah blah blah. Now it's like you're 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 fucking shooting people just to get inside. Get out. I agreed to pick my friend's kid up from uh, school one day, which is a big fucking mistake. And he comes in, gets in the car. And uh, he's telling me about this girl that he spent the night with. And this kid's six years old. And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? And it's not one of those innocent slumber party like sleepovers. He actually referred to his junk as his purple dinosaur. And furthermore, why am I referring to junk as junk? I don't know. It's a penis, but. That's when, that's when a kid. And this is where I should have thought something was wrong. There was a kid that jumped on my hood, starts like washing my windshield, and I'm in the elementary school parking lot. And then, uh, and then I got carjacked by a six-year-old. And the fucker made me buy a CD first. Really? It's like, no, I don't want to buy your CD. Okay, fine, I'll buy your CD. Get your stinky ass away from me. I took the Stella. I know. Uh, I hear that a lot. I do. Is that you, Tina? Is that, is, that your, is that your boyfriend or husband? Do I see a ring? That's, a, that's her husband. I don't know, her. I was just kidding. All right, cool. Hey, uh, I, went to, uh, I went to a restaurant last week, and I ordered the fish. And where it usually says market price, uh, it had a price per gallon. But I'm really glad the beef POE was over with. So I don't know when that's going to be off the menu. But it's a lot fucking cheaper than market price. I'll tell you that. Hey, uh, whoever gets who gets really drunk? Not me. Tina, I told you to stay in the truck. <laughs> well, Tina and I get really drunk. And then when we wake up, we fight over who gets the first fucking cup out of the Brita pitcher. And then it takes 30 minutes to fill the fucker back up. And that starts a whole nother problem because I don't want to drink out of the tap. It's like, I got no alcohol in my system right now. I can piss in your mouth. And I'm saying, no. Tina's like, my husband loves me. Anyway. Um, hey, uh, I have an impression. Yeah, one way in, no way out, yeah. Okay. This is, this is an impression of a uh, redneck fist pumping. And it involves a can of dip. See what you gotta do. So you gotta start low. Alright. Let's get some music. <laughs> let's do this uh let's do this uh Corville Lake style. That's a Jersey sore ripoff right there. Did I just say Jersey sore? That's what their dicks look like. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Anything. Okay. I got you right I feel bad bending over and with Horville in the room.
<laughs> and Tina. Love you, girl. Red neck fist bump. I got this. Red neck fist bump, you Let's go. Where's my sister? Hey, I'm Scott Malcolm. Y'all have a good night.